back. This is Boomer Life on CIL 650. All I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. Hey, and welcome back to the show. This is Boomer Life on CIL 650. I'm Zach Spencer, and today we're speaking with Candy Ho, uh, the Director and Vice President of Marketing and Corporate Relations at Element Lifestyle Retirement. We're talking about Opal by Element at the corner of King Ed and Camby. Mm -hmm. And um, you're going to start breaking ground pretty soon, right? Yeah, February, March. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's exciting. And the target date for the completion is uh, 2019. Yeah, 24 months build approximately. All yeah. right. And Miley Wong is a author and leading Canadian investment advisor. Uh, we're talking about bringing the two things together, the plan to get to um, retirement and have the cash flow needed to sustain your lifestyle. That's the number one thing. Absolutely. Running out of money when you're old is no fun. <laughs> and uh, Warren Buffett has a quote here, to invest successfully does not require stratospheric IQ, unu unusual business insight or inside information. What's needed is a sound intellectual framework for making decisions and the ability to keep emotions from corrod corroding the framework. So what I read here is a plan and stick with it, right? Absolutely. A good plan, mm -hmm. an adaptable plan and a great process for, for, for making good sound decisions. And I think that's really the most important thing. So when someone comes to you um, with a, and you build a financial plan, and, and how often does it change? Um, two, three years down the road, five years down the road, you need to reassess, reassess and accelerate in some areas, pull back in other areas? Absolutely. So we will build a comprehensive financial plan that's written for clients, and we'll review it at least every year. Mm -hmm. But oftentimes, uh, major changes don't need to take place unless there's been uh, you know, a change in their you know, health or financial situation or a change in their goals, mm -hmm. really. their objectives and there may be exactly. threshold for risk. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, for example, um, I find myself working with a lot of um, women or men who are suddenly find themselves either widowed or divorced mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they are all of a sudden um, dealing with a larger amount of money than they ever had to deal with before. And there's a lot of, you know, fear and uncertainty around having to make all those decisions and a lot of responsibility suddenly on their shoulders, especially if they're looking after a family or mm -hmm. older parents. Or a business. Mm -hmm. A business, absolutely. And so we help them uh, formulate a plan that identifies milestones and makes certain projections based on how they currently live and how they hope to live. Mm -hmm. And we work backwards to show them if they follow this particular course of action, what this will look like. If they follow a different course of action, mm -hmm. what it will look like. Mm -hmm. And we show them different scenarios and help them really feel what it feels like to be in those different scenarios. It's almost a visualization, right? Absolutely. If, you, if, you, if you're a golfer and you think you're going to hit it into the hole, mm -hmm. you're more than likely going to get it in. It's like financial uh, virtual reality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes it real for them and then helps them make better decisions once they can see and feel what the outcomes are. Okay, okay so um, Candy brought up a good point in the break. Um, you have somebody's on a trajectory towards retirement. Are they getting towards the end of the time when they want to actually put those nine to five hours in? Or maybe they want to slow down or maybe they want to transition totally to not working anymore. Um, how does it change at that point um, for them? And, and what give us can you give us any examples sure so um one example is that we were working with a woman who is um you know in her 60s uh, approaching retirement she'd been a very successful family physician her entire career and she was probably closing in on two to three years from perhaps you know giving up her license and retiring mm -hmm. and so we were starting to have these conversations and you could tell there was some you know worry in her overall back of her mind and and i knew that she had been um on the right trajectory, making the right investment decisions, but it had to be real for her. Mm -hmm. So along the lines leading up to this, we had already been investing for more growth to build her portfolio to a level where if she decided to start working, she could start investing for more dividends and getting a cash flow mm -hmm. from her portfolio. A sustainable income just from the past, the money sitting there. Going. Exactly. Yeah. And yet what we really needed to do was also show her so that she had the confidence what mm -hmm. it looked like in a through a planning process of mapping out the different trajectories mm -hmm. if she made certain choices on how to invest. Taking a proactive approach. Yeah. Exactly. So it's all about anticipating, mm -hmm. taking two steps ahead mm -hmm. on behalf of her to help her then make the right decision mm -hmm. at that point in time. And so we showed her if she were to hang up her 
hat or give up her license, this is what it would look like. Her stethoscope. Her stethoscope, exactly. <laughs> and also part of the discussion that we engaged with, with her accountant was looking at her home, mm -hmm. uh, that she had been sitting on a house uh, for the last 30 years that had appreciated a lot in value. And yet it was starting to cost her more and more out-of-pocket money to maintain, maintain, maintain it. it. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, these were sort of costs that she was just paying every year, not realizing how much it really added yeah. up to. Exactly. That's what I tell our families, too, that sometimes that right? they don't realize like well, uh, the costs that they're already spending. And then they think, oh, this sounds like when they hear a certain uh, amount of cost in living in a place like this, they're not actually giving direct comparisons about what they're already doing at home. And then the intangible value of this happiness for the entire family's peace of mind. Well, yeah. I was going to ask you we live in a unique city where there's so many people that are house rich mm -hmm. right and you're an investment advisor and you somebody's living in this house and it's maybe a four or five bedroom house but there's just two people there um you must get this question all the time when's the time to sell it what should we do with that windfall because some people bought these houses 30, 40 yeah, years ago for, ago for next to nothing. Right, like a few thousand and now it's a few millions in yeah, some areas. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And actually there's a statistic that in Canada, like seniors are the most uh, wealthy because of their assets. Uh, how uh, real estate is a big yeah. one, yeah. It's been a huge mm -hmm. gift for many mm -hmm. in that demographic, absolutely. And, you know, part of what we do is to educate people not to expect that same type of growth mm -hmm. going forward because, mm -hmm. you know, certainly history has not suggested that that's a sustainable growth rate in terms of home prices. Mm -hmm. And so what we often do is look at okay this is an asset mm -hmm. this house is an asset not only is your lifestyle about to change where it might be more practical for them mm -hmm. to live on one floor right one floor mm -hmm. to be more effortless fewer stairs <laughs> yeah. you know um fewer opportunities for falls yes um but also from a financial standpoint, that asset could be harvested as a way to create more sustainable cash flow so mm -hmm. that they will be able to enjoy the freedom and flexibility to go on trips mm -hmm. to various places in the world they've always wanted to or mm -hmm. to have amenities and, and, and live a wonderful, more flexible, enjoyable lifestyle and than they have free before. free themselves from the maintenance and the chores and actually spend that time with the family instead. Now, now Candy, do you yeah. have a lot of people coming into uh, Opal by Element mm -hmm. who are in this exact situation where mm -hmm. they're going to sell the family yes. home yes. and that's going to fund... Of, these, yes, these it's going to fund the purchase and it's also actually going to fund their monthly <laughs> monthly expenditures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think a lot of the fear in people retiring is just that they don't know how long they're going to be healthy and truly if they move into a community like this, they will be healthier for longer if it, when they move in healthy. Um, but that's the thing, like when you liquidate your asset, you purchase this and then how do you sustain those monthly fees if you don't, if it's like they don't know how long that is and that's mm -hmm. why you do need an investment plan where the money that you liquidate and then the extras that you get out of the proceeds of selling that home that you're sitting on, which is worth more than the home that you would purchase with in so a retirement community, the buying. difference then mm -hmm. they can use that to, to, to propagate. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. So um, do you get uh, people coming into your... Uh, uh, your, what do you call it again? Your Discovery, Discovery Center. Center. I was going to say Display Center, but Discovery Center. And they um, they like the idea, Opal by Element, but mm -hmm. they're trying to figure out how to make it work. The numbers work. Mm -hmm. You must get this all the time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they're looking to see how can we get everybody together. They always come in and then just uh, right off the bat, how much is this? And then how much is the total monthly cost? And and then they, they have this absolute amount but actually all of the things that you know they add up asking to add up three quarters of them they're already paying or even more like you know Buying strata fees house. and property yeah. tax and and maintenance if you're in a condo there's strata fee if you're in a house it's even more and you haven't even gone through the exercise of calculating and 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 that aside the cost itself is the effort that it takes you and the stress that it causes you to maintain a huge home that probably most of it you're not even using the spaces mm -hmm. so yeah so so the it's to help them realize that the value of this lifestyle is only this little portion. So, yeah. <laughs> and you get this as well. People sell their home, downsize, and this would be a downsize for if somebody has a detached home, um, and, and then invest the, pros, the, 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 the difference, right? That's right. So mm -hmm. we actually specialize in helping clients generate monthly cash flow mm -hmm. from their investment portfolio mm -hmm. to cover the expenses of living that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And for that example, that 60-year-old physician that I explained, she, she did end up selling her house. Mm -hmm. She's so happy she did. She's living a better lifestyle than she ever has. She's mm -hmm. gardening, she's traveling, mm -hmm. she's writing, and she's mm -hmm. earning a... Um, 
almost double the amount of cash flow from her investment portfolio than mm. she had imagined mm-hmm. and an ability to live a very full life. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's one of the most rewarding things that we do is being mm-hmm. able to in- see that legacy take place for that individual or that family. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that work optional phase being even better than they imagined. Help them dream bigger and then realize those dreams. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Uh, Candy Ho um, from El- um, Opal by Element and uh, Miley Wong is here from uh, CIBC Wood Gundy. We're going to continue our conversation next on CL 650. Celebrating the boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life on CL 650.